Hey, how's it going guys? It's Nyx here and today I'm going to be starting episode 1 of Hero Royale and Save the World, guys. Today's episode is going to be on the new hero, Birthday Brigadier Ramirez, guys. You get her by killing 50 exploders or cake exploders in this event. I wanted to wait a few days just to make sure everyone had it, uh, you know, so I wouldn't be making a video where some people don't have her yet, but by now everyone should definitely have her, guys. And sorry for the few days gap between videos, I put out like four over like a day and a half. I was just a tiny bit tired and wasn't feeling too well, so I decided to wait a few days, but now we're back, guys. So yeah, we're going to be getting into this, starting a new series. If you want to enjoy it, drop a like down below. Let's get right into it. So her perks here, guys, are Advanced Tactics, which increases her damage and health by 10%. She also was going commando for her first ability. That's the minigun, guys, and she gets a lot of buffs for those later on, which we'll get to next. They just kind of like boost up damage, duration, things like that, guys. The next thing she has is debilitating shots, which, of course, yeah, I imagine everyone knows is dealing range damage by his one stack vulnerability, increasing damage taken from all sources by 5% on the target for up to 15 seconds. Now, this is really good because the longer you're shooting someone, the more damage you do to them. So if you shoot them three times, they'll be taking 15% more damage for like the next 15 seconds. So the more you shoot, the more damage you do. And that just stacks up repeatedly, guys. It only stacks up to three times, but it'll mean with the 15 seconds, by the time that's done, anything will be killed, even a smasher, guys. Now, if we scroll down even further, we'll see that she has Ain't Done Yet, which increases the duration of going commando by five seconds. That is really good, guys. Means you can just shoot for longer because this thing has ridiculous damage per second. Like if we look up here, it's 2,879. Now it is more with other perks and lasts for 15 seconds, but this will increase it up to 20 seconds, guys. We have easy operation, which reduces the energy cost of going commando by 20. That's really good. So if you're stuck out of energy, you'll still be able to use it, guys. Now, this is probably her main ability, guys. She has War Cry. Now, War Cry is a huge buff to you and your teammates. What it does is for people within six tiles, you guys, you will do 55% more damage for ranged and melee weapons. So it's good for even if you have ninjas on your team or soldiers or whatever, guys. This is so good if you and your team are together because 55% more damage. That is ridiculous, guys. That's such an increase. Like if you're doing, a hundred, say, a thousand damage a shot, you're now doing like 1,550. You know, it's so good. It also increases attack speed by 30%. And for ranged weapons and 20% for melee weapons guys and it lasts for 15 seconds but sadly they don't stack if it did imagine running a whole squad of these you'd have triple damage be insane now this is another big thing here guys combatants might will reduce the cost of that by 20 because at the start war cry cost 30 but now it's down to 10 essentially that's like amazing now next up we have practicing combat increase the duration by five seconds so that will last up to 20 seconds as you see there guys at 15 now goes up to 20 that is so long to be doing so much more damage guys you know faster fire rate more damage it's insane guys this is again another huge one mighty roar this increased the range by 55 percent that'll take it to like essentially 10 tiles guys that is a huge range that's bigger than any base you could ever want guys Next up we have Shockwave. Now this is a crutch perk I find. I am so happy you have it on her. Everyone knows what Shockwave does. It emits a Shockwave that knocks back enemies and kills them. The best thing about this is guys, if you're surrounded by like mini husks, this is the best thing to kill them with guys. Next up we have Fight or Flight. Increases Warcry damage done by 10% and movement speed by 10%. So that brings it up to 65% damage increase guys. That is insane. That's like all the perks on your gun. They're just extra perks, essentially, guys. And then lastly, we have Boomstick, which increases the damage of the minigun by 30% and converts it to energy. That just means it's so much more effective against elemental smashers or any elemental guys. That is such a good perk. Probably the main one that really buffs her, guys. Now, going out here, I'll show you what the best setup for her is, guys. So of course, you want Birthday Brigade Ramirez. That's, you know, the most common, you know, most common sense thing. Today, Junior! there is guys but then in the support you want shuriken master sarah now this is a really ability focused soldier so shuriken master sarah is or shuriken master lamari guys they're interchangeable just whenever once it says shuriken master down here will increase all ability damage by 20 percent guys now that is huge that's for your war cry your shock wave your going commando especially so that's doing 20 percent more on top of the extra 30 percent of those guys and it lasts for a longer duration. Shirk Master Sarah is a perfect fit here, guys. And for the tactical, you want Stonefoot Crash. Now, you've probably never used her. I had never used her before I found this out, guys. 
but her tactical is, is insane for this hero, guys. It increases your shields when you're using Warcry by 25%. You've probably seen it in the gameplay, guys. Anytime I activate Warcry, my shields go up. That is just insane because when you're using Warcry, you're up close with the husks. They're hitting you, you know. They're right next to you, essentially, because you want to be up close to them to do as much damage as possible. This will increase your shields, guys, making it way harder for them to actually get out your health and actually knock you down. So this is an insane tactical and is definitely the one I recommend. The only one I would interchange for is the one I usually run, guys, Thunderstrike Scorch. Now, he is an event one. I believe he was in the Chinese New Year ones. So now, you know, you'll have a chance to get him with these birthday llamas, guys. But as you see, Dragon Days, what happens is when your shield breaks, it essentially does a shockwave, guys. That is the best way I can put it. It is pretty much another shockwave, guys. It's similar to some of those perks, like if your shield breaks, your shockwave recharges, or so similar ones like this. This is the hero I always run, guys, on any soldier or any construct or any hero, anyways. But definitely, I think Stonewood Foot Crash is the best if you can get her, guys. So to wrap up, guys, going over her pros and cons. Pros of her is she is insane at taking out big enemies like Smashers, Husky Husks, even Blasters, guys. Anything that has a lot of health and is physically tall because going commando is not the most accurate thing ever but if you're shooting something like a smasher it will stop it dead in its tracks guys even if he's charging this going commando or even one of your really good guns with war cry guys will stop any smasher from charging it will shred through husky husks the new enemies i actually can't forget the scarecrow kind of guys that are like semi blaster lobber hybrids i actually forget what they're called guys very good for them because they're a bit tankier than the other husks guys they're really good for things like blasters as well because they're pretty tall so the big thing about her guys you want to be always using her abilities now the cons of this hero is guys she's pretty bad at taking out smaller groups of smaller enemies guys what i mean by these are things like the mini husks i don't know if they actually have an actual name i've always called them mini husks or small husks but if you get a group of those or even normal husks surrounding you guys and you don't have shockwave they honestly could kill you if you don't get away from there because the big downside of her abilities since she is Warcry, she does not have grenades, guys. Now, that is a big thing for me because my favorite hero is Master Eddie or Ramirez. So, of course, it took me a while to get used to her, guys. But once you do and you learn to not use your shockwave when you don't need to, you learn to save it. That is when she gets really, really good, guys. Now, again, I'll show the setup on screen here. We have, of course, Birthday Brigade Ramirez in the main slot. Shark and Master Sarah in the support slot. And Stonefoot Crash in the tactical. I almost forgot her name there, guys. Now, I'll show up the pros and cons one more time here, guys. Pros, she's amazing at taking out big enemies, guys. And cons, she's bad at taking out the small ones, guys. As of course, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. Come down below. Any more videos on Fortnite, save the world, or subscribe for those videos coming each and every day. This has been Nick, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.